so welcome to our home time vlog and um, we're not at home <laughs> but it's after work after work so and we thought this would be included in it's been a day vlog. of cancelled auditions yeah. lots of editing meeting nanny Di now on the south bank i'm doing the home editing stuff with kiki maddie's been taken to see a harold pinter play that possibly stars danny dyer pardon i hear mum has mints you have oh, mints I, oh yeah i have so we're just going to see Nanny die now. So uh, they want mints, do you think I should allow them to have them? Kiki uh, just had one. I just had one. Yeah, but you just it. had loads of chips. But so did she. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I don't get the beef it's about it. mints. I don't get it. <laughs> I still had one. There's a lot of logic to running across the road shouting. So I'm going to die. <laughs> Why? Because if you do die, <laughs> you were expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, you can be happy about it. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine if you were like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Crazy kids. Hmm? Crazy kids. So this is backstage, oh, set design. Oh. Look, they're Dad. creating windows. Oh, I love it. Dad. We're the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look. We're, yeah. we're the Peaky Blinders. We're the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love it. <laughs> Got a text from Nanny Dye saying, "Just going to loo." Guess where Nanny Dye is? Loo. Yeah. Loo. She's just Stealing going to the loo. Toilet paper. Huh? I'm going to do an Animal Crossing. I love this building. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, I don't know. I love it when they're like this. It's usually when they've eaten. Yeah, I love it. <gasps> <laughs> 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 That's the one I tried to get tickets for, Kate Blanchett. Mm, I would have done anything to see that. Well, I tried to do anything to see it. Stage door. One of my first, well, my first ever job was an usherette at the National Theatre. Yeah. And I loved it so much. And, and for years afterwards, in the toilet. yeah. And for years afterwards, I used to say to people, "My first job was at the National." And people go, oh, "You've been at the National?" And I'd say, "Oh yes, I've been at the National." Mm. <laughs> and why it was tearing tickets and selling ice cream? I saw Helen McCrory and Damien Lewis have yeah. a row down there. Yeah, you, if you sit here long enough, you'll see some great sights going in and out that stage door. I'm missing it so much here since we moved the studios. Yeah, you don't work here anymore. I'm really missing. Look, look at this, it's vibing. I, know, I music, work here a lot, I love the it. The lights, the river, the bridge. I love it, I come here and you're oh, not here anymore. I'm just a gem Look at the trees, look at the light. No. I love this building, you hate it, don't you? No, it's really grown on me now. Has it? See Kiki, she's like, yeah. I have a present for you. <laughs> me? Yeah, but she's just done it straight into the camera. That's what she just did. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Nanny Dye? In the loo. We're wearing the same colour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's she actually so funny. She bit my ear. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is a bit. I just bit her ear. The scissors. Well, I mean, hugging her. <laughs> <laughs> is it really bleeding? No. no. Oh, okay. Oh. Hiya. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm good. How's your back, love? Say hello Much to your better. Sons. Oh, thank you. Hello, sir. Scissors on your ears. No. <laughs> what has the world come to? Christian, do your exhibition. Is it good? Good. Yes. Stunning. Busy and hot. Have you had, a, have you had Botox? Oh, shut up. You look yeah. so well. You do, do I? You look like you've had both. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, God, that really fillers. hurt. That really hurt. I'm going to cry. <laughs> look at girls' trousers. Oh, yeah. Oh, look nice. at you getting with the trend. Where are they from? from? Good for oh. labour. These two, I'm copying them. Look, look. Oh, I see you've got... They're high. Is it well. ridiculous to do that? Oh, no. don't laugh, Nadia. Mum, <laughs> that's so cool. She looks friendly. No, she does. Walk away from awesome. walk, walk, walk over very, there. Very walk over are you there wearing mustard? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Taught you well. Oh. But I think you're supposed to have the socks lower than the trousers. Walk no, over there. there and walk nothing back. Back. I knew nothing there was something like that. <laughs> no, no, nothing matters in the fashion. Walk over there and walk back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I've never seen you do that before. <laughs> 
Are your ankles cold? It's very, very weird. I tell you, I keep looking down thinking, Diane, what the fuck have you done? So we're just sat in the middle of the National no, Theatre tapping, I think, I think and Mark's just been telling us a story about a very famous presenter that he worked with. We can't say the name. Who? Um, oh my god, I can't at win. A when I talk in the other way, you say to me, I'm talking to you loudly. On, on. Hang on, more pressing, they tell me if you're talking to you quietly now. Like no more pressing than revealing that is, I think my mum has got a uh, mustard coloured top and she's got new collots. That's me, mum. Sort of mom, like short. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're filming me. Not Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you're not See, filming anyone. Well, I, think, I think she's flirting with her teachers on her courses. Mark thinks you're falling in love. I wouldn't mind, but this top, which is the thing that you keep going to, I've had for years. No, I'm I've only just found it. Yes. I'm going to your trousers. It's a very hip to top. Look, Mom. Kim, Kim, you're in the same boat. I'm on you're showing your shoes. Trousers. I know oh, you've got funky oh, trousers on. No, no, my, my, my trousers are definitely new, but that's because you're blessed. This one. You're blessed <laughs> with not having Nan's ankles, aren't you? Yeah, no, I've got great ankles. Oh, no. I was just doing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no, she's not, she's I thought that was because you can't like, walk straight. No, that's because of flamenco, sweetheart. My foot what? collapsed. <laughs> because of flamenco. <laughs> my, my foot collapsed because of flamenco. I know. That Think could be the title of the new series of BBC. Actually, it could be the title, the title of what? My, what? my ankle collapsed because of flamenco. Flamenco. <laughs> oh, well, actually, it could be, it could be, it could be a chapter title. title. Mine. You Flamenco's why my ankle collapsed. The story of my collapsed ankle. <laughs> Do you know it? It's yeah, Spanish it's dance. Show us, Mum. Shut them. Do it. Do it. Nan, do it. Shut them. Nan, do it. Anyway, tell us about the famous <laughs> <Do it. laughs> What else should you do? You can't without revealing no. who they were. No, because if, if I said it, they'd know who, who I was talking about. Uh, they'd know who I was talking about. <laughs> we'll change it then. You would get asked often to come over for a massage. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I was often asked if I wanted a massage. The Mitchie? Not by them, by someone else. No. <laughs> but there. That was weird. It was weird. Um, but anyway, this person Imagine also... Imagine if I said you, my this director used to work with, used to ask for a massive... Well, of course it's weird. Yeah, but the other weird thing was someone else I worked with no, it's reputedly Alex had a dark Alexander. dungeon, and my mum said, said maybe it was his licorice room. Alexander. What is a licorice um, room? <laughs> what is a licorice room? I love it when you say things. You go, <laughs> Nanny Di does this thing where she'll say something, she'll go... Do you know you no, do no. the twitches? No, no. Do you know your face twitches? I do. But that's not me doing it. It's just that my face is. Does your twitching. face just twitch? <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that. That. that yes. Do you do it again? Oh, God. You, <laughs> you just did it with the eyebrow. Kiki's new home schooling book. It's cool, isn't it? I love it's that. Very, Nanny Thelma would have loved that because A, she liked cats and B, she ate yeah. people. Yeah. I love these lights. It was so the right decision to keep the lights up. Well, Betty and Teddy are coming over to have their donuts. Do you want to wait till you have your donut with them? No, it's still come down. <laughs> Where's your donut? It's in the fridge. Oh, why are they in the fridge? I think it's in the fridge. No, they'll be horrible in the fridge. Get I mean, them I out. Don't know they'll be hard. I don't know where I'm going. No, they're here. Oh, no, there's Betty and Teddy's. I don't know. <gasps> Daddy didn't eat yours, did he? Oh no, that one's yours. Oh yes, yeah, mine. I had a bite of it. A bite? A bite. A bite? It's like about three bites. It wasn't very nice. And it's full of Nutella, what are you talking about? Yeah. Mum! <laughs> so where are you going now? Oh, my friend. Okay. All right, we'll see you later you then. Upset me. Sorry, darling. To be quite honest, I'm pretty damn proud of myself that this is still whole. It smells so good. Coffee iced with biscotti cream and biscotti biscotti on it. My mum's favourite cake always was a coffee cake. So I've got that one for her. So they're going to come round and um, eat that. Whilst Mark is going to, guess what? Begins with an E. Eh? Edit! How much sleep did you have last night? Five, Five hours. hours. Are you a bit moody now? No. 
<laughs> tired. <laughs> you are. No, but you're I've moody, tired. Been driving all day. Yeah, but only because it's it's understandable. But you are quite moody. But it's so annoying. But only in a I would be moody too if I'd only had five hours sleep and driven all the way home. Okay. It's like sometimes moodiness is valid. It is. I'm being nice. Okay. I'm so pissed off actually because I was doing really well with my eating today after yesterday's or Tuesday's disastrous um, weigh-in. I put on two pounds and I, I didn't lose any. I was doing so well today. Started off with green juice. Then I had um, just like chicken and vegetables for lunch. Just only a small bit of chicken and spinach. And then Mark and the girls want to go to Nando's. I go to Nando's, I end up having chips, not a whole portion, some chips, loads of bloody almonds, because they always get the nuts and olives. And now I just feel a bit, I've got to get over this thing of now feeling everything I've done is a waste. Um, and now mum and dad are coming around and I bet I'm gonna have a bit of donut. I just feel like the whole evening now is gonna be about, I mustn't eat this and I mustn't eat that. And it's so boring. And actually, I really would like a bloody glass of wine tonight. Nope. 100 days. 100 days and I'm only on day 43. So, nope. What are you up to? Come on. Sit. Sit. Did you miss me today? Who's got a lovely tail? Who's got a lovely tail? Oh, he's a good girl. Yes, you are. Mummy's darling. Where's, where's, where's Kiki? Where's Kiki? Yay. <laughs> what are you doing? Dad needs some toilet paper. Oh, God. Um, I've put loads up there, but it's just going to do your nanny die. He just no, wants no, extra. For no reason. Should we give her a bath later, Kiki? Yeah. Because she stinks. Do you want to have a bath? What do you think of that? I think it's it a looks, gorgeous box. It's a lovely box, but why does it look like a polo? Oh, it does actually. <laughs> but so we were in Covent Garden yesterday. We went past this donut shop. Donut time. Looked amazing. Bought three donuts. But I've got to get one of those for Mum because it's a coffee and biscotti one. Guess how much three donuts were? Go on, Dad. Guess. What was? How the much the cost, cost of these donuts? Oh my god, them. it's oh, a yeah. cake, it's a full size How cake. How much do you think that cost? 90 P. <laughs> no, for three. <laughs> for three. Three pounds. Mum? <laughs> for three, um, nine pounds fifty. As dad lives in a parallel universe, let's go to mum. Thirteen pounds seventy. Did you see on Crystal Palace Local? A child's meal, six chips, and a 50p coin size uh, burger. Oh, thought it was a dog. <laughs> Seven pounds mm. fifty. That's a pound of chip and a pound. They've 50. got the world's gone mad. Yeah. That's one donut, isn't it? <laughs> it's one. It's donut one donut with donut. my name on it. Well, then I thought, oh, I'll get one for Dad as well, and I thought you'll never eat that. It's enormous. The thing is, I don't think it's going to be particularly nice either. Well, Let me get you a plate to, and cut what's it What's happened up. to the other two? Well, Kiki had one and Mark had one. You didn't taste it at all? I had a bit of Kiki's one. It was a Nutella one and I've got news. It wasn't very good. Was it the donut that wasn't good? Everything or wasn't was good. was it fake Nutella? Well, the thing is, it is a skill to make a donut. Well, you were always trying at home. They never worked. Really? No. Oh my God, look at it. It does feel very nice and <laughs> bouncy. Yeah. It looks dry in the There's middle. nothing inside it. I oh know. Where's the Nutella? No, yours isn't Nutella. Well, yours is coffee that, cream. What is it? So it's there's all the coffee on top. cream. It's all on top. Give, okay. bit, give that bit for Dad and you have the sweeter bit. Well, I have to give him some of this. Otherwise, he'll cry. Thank you. Right, the taste test. Tell me whether it's four quid worth of donut. The topping's nice. I've never liked it. <laughs> oh, God! Now he tells us. No, that's it. <laughs> it doesn't. Look at your hair. Your head looks amazing. It doesn't look like a donut inside, does it? How's the donut? It's a nice cake, but yeah, it's not a donut. 
But it's oh. a nice cake, but it's not a donut. What do you mean? What defines a donut? Well, it tastes like a donut. It doesn't taste like a donut. Um, now, guys, I have uh, a Kiki. They look nice. No, actually, yeah. You'd be a really pretty um, girl. I'd be a really pretty girl. You would be. Really I'd be a pretty girl. You'd be a drag Daddy, should be a drag queen. I'm going to become a drag queen. I need to shave my legs. Kiki just said I'd make a great drag queen. Right. What do you think? It's very naughty behaviour. I can't believe you went quiet and the next thing I know you've got my eyelashes on. I have got your tights on. Mark. You just can't see them. I've put them on Mark. under my trousers. Go away. I can't show the room. That's why I'm not turning around. Go away. Coming in. No, go away. You can't show the room. Ready? Ah. <gasps> That's so cool. The official oh. behind the scenes companion. It's a wow. poster of the book. The book? Apparently there's a book. Behind the scenes book. Look at both sides. It's so oh, cool. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's you get a huge kiss and a thank, thank you. Yeah. Can I have the dates? No. Please. Well, listen, I'll tell you what. You just have them, Mark. Have, have whatever you want. Can I have the rest of my donut? I thought you'd had it. I didn't eat all of it. I'm going to have the rest of it. Donuts have dominated this family life for the last week and a half. Yeah, who introduced the whole donut concept? Me. Yeah, it's your fault, so you took me down. Why are you pacing around? I am absolutely famished. How can you... Just explain to people what you had in Nando's tonight. I had one rat, I had one pitta. And I didn't have any... I had a handful of chips and that was it. Did you have any nuts? No, no, I didn't have any nuts. Did you have any olives? One olive, one olive. One, one olive. olive. Nobody ever has one I, olive. I did. After the McDonald's fiasco. But it's it stretched my stomach open. And now I want to eat more and more and more. What do I do? What do I do? I just want to eat lots. Protein. Chicken fish or eggs. Chicken fish or eggs. I haven't had chicken fish. <laughs> Oh, I'm so... Uh, <coughs> if you've broken that, I'm going to be so cross. That is Johnny's. No, Don't no, stop no. keep smashing things in your head. What? <laughs> Given that you're doing so, so well, I found this, I stumbled across this film, I stumbled across this film on YouTube. Mm. And I want to show it to you because it really moved me. Look at me, just for a minute. Just for a minute, look from your phone. No, I'm just, I, no, I just wanted to read. Oh my God, you absolute idiot, I nearly fell. Don't pull a stool away. <laughs> no, I just want to read you some of these comments. I'm trying to be gallant. Okay. Comments about what? About the McDonald's thing, because I'm so worried about it. Oh no. Thanks guys, that's put me off fast food for a while. Mm. Have you given up on your weight loss journey then, guys? Lol, you deserve a treat. You've both done very well and look amazing. I was going to say, any advice in weight loss at the moment? Can't exercise because I've twisted my ankle and I'm a binge eater also. And unlike you, I'm a rubbish cook. That's from Emma Tamburello. I feel awful that you've watched that vlog and you've got all of that going on. Yeah, watch our vloggeries because there's lots of advice on there. But Oh, look, Mary B, I'm salivating here. I hope it was fab. Well, I mean, it was a moment of the girls have been wanting this for ages. They're not on the same thing, and yeah. I capitulated too quickly. Marie Jackson, walking with a waddle. Hilarious, Mark. Did you waddle? No, oh, actually, yeah. it's one of my many talents. <laughs> Darren Twine, I think Mark's given up on the healthy eating. I haven't. I haven't I'd be the same. Wow, love McDonald's, but I'm not going to go at the moment, but it's making me hungry. Guys, you have... Oh my God, I feel awful. People have been vlogging with us and we've made them fancy a McDonald's. Well, I know. I feel really bad. It was just like we had to share our moment of sheer indulgence and, and capitulation. Really, we capitulated. And the reason we capitulated was because the night before I had one of those... No. When did I have the donut? Alison Marsh I had says, the donut after them. I know, that's 
that's what's so shocking. I had a donut after I, the McDonald's. <laughs> he did. I came down in the morning and went, I did something terrible last night. I went, what? Goes, I thought that was I, yesterday. And I said, did you have the donut? And he said, yes. Shit, guys. Shit, guys. Look, you know, can Marsh I be honest? Says, stay off the scales for a few weeks. That was terrible. So I would just... Tonight, you're hungry. Just have a hot drink. Don't go in looking for more Something food. awful's happened. I've unleashed an absolute beast. Absolute beast. I'll, just I'll tell you why. It was... I, I actually <laughs> secretly was feeling really depressed about putting on two pounds. And I just thought, fuck, so fuck you it. Let's put on four. Yeah. I think, I think a lot Aww. of people will relate to that. So lots of nice comments going. So people are seeming, you seem to be liking the um, home time. We always read all the comments. I love the comments because we get to, you know, really. If you weren't having the comments, it just wouldn't be as much oh, fun. Oh, it's probably it? like talking into a vacuum. Yeah. Do you do? That's what together? I feel like all the What's time. That? No one uh, listens to me. Oh, God, we've got so many lovely followers. Honestly, the things that are said. What is this about our McDonald's? No, this is door one, but people, uh, um, uh, vlog one, people loved the door falling off. Well, it wasn't intentional. Can't make it happen every night. I'm going to reattach it this weekend whilst Nadia's up in Scotland. That's one of my jobs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that would be nice. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I can't really get to the bottom of what we're doing. No, it will be today. This is because tomorrow they'll be watching Yeah, today. no, I know, but they know we're a day behind, so... I don't think that's made it very clear. Anyway, They'll it's not Valentine's it today. Tomorrow. Okay, but I still can't get a grasp on what we're doing tomorrow. What is happening? Are I'm we... having a smear. Yep, yeah, that's delightful. Well, I am. I know, great. I'm that's having me nice. examined, but I'm not. Mark! <laughs> Why do you have to say these things? But what are we doing after you've had a smear? We've got a meeting. Yes, after the meeting. I don't know, you surprised me. Okay. Surprise me. We have a meeting, then we can have lunch. And then what are we doing in the evening? Coming back home. Oh, right. Because okay. being out on Valentine's evening is... <sighs> Horrendous. All the restaurants are packed. A lot of the people don't even like each other and they're sitting there having to have a meal. Don't you think that, guys? Don't you see people on Valentine's and they're sort of sitting there like really awkwardly yeah. with somebody they, they... Either they've been married to for too long and don't like anymore. I want to show you... I'm going to show you a clip now that I want you yeah. to watch. And it really moved me when I saw it, especially because... Especially when you know what happens to the person or what happened to the person who's talking. Would you talk about booze for a moment? If you like. As a kind of maybe public service or, or whatever. Um, I think I've done enough public service in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> However, if it helps anybody, yes. Uh, well, I, I, it, it might very well. Um, I guess what, what I want to know is how, how do you know when you're in trouble? With your... I think that nobody quite knows uh, which drink it is that takes him over the edge of being merely a social or hearty laughing drinker into a morose and hungover wretched creature who shakes and creaks and sweats and has nightmares and it's always November and it's raining and it's three o'clock in the morning and, and there's nowhere to go and you reach out mm -hmm. for a cigarette and smoke and think of all the horrible things you've done in your life and all the shame you all the shames you've endured and suffered and the shame you gave other people and the, all the wrongs you've done other people i don't know whether alcoholics can put it quite as eloquently as that usually they they just say i just stared out of a window for two years and um, it is i believe me uh, the question of uh, being an alcoholic, I'm not quite sure that I am one, but if I'm not one, I'm very near, I'm very on, uh, right on the edge of being one. Do tell but it is no laughing matter. It really <coughs> is not a laughing matter. No, I've got uh, alcoholism is, is a dreadful disease. Mm -hmm. And my sympathy for, I believe there are something like 15 million Americans alone mm -hmm. who, are, who are alcoholics. And my sympathy for them and my affection for them is profound. They come up to me, uh, you know, as, as, as being a representative figure of this <laughs> dreadful disease. And, and one, of the, know, one of the things they love to do is to tell stories about 
what they got up to when they were drunk. And I listen and I laugh. And they genuinely found me some of the stories. But it is a tragic disease and a, a dreadful one. And uh, I, I think, well, no, I can't say that I've beaten it because as Jimmy Breslin, who was a dear friend of mine, wrote me a, a short but very eloquent letter once some years ago when I was in trouble with drink. And he said, don't forget the drink. And he used the, the, the analogy of a boxing match and that you're always fighting. You're always fighting. And the other fella is booze. And you evade him. You evade him. But one of these days, unless you're careful, he's going to nail you right on the chin. And down you go. So it's a continual fight. Every day, it's a fight. And when you get through the day, and you finally put your head on the pillow, and you sleep, you say, I've beaten that boxer for an, yet another day. another day and so for the rest of your life mm -hmm. you're stuck with that shadowy figure oh, always wow. always coming at you always coming at you mm -hmm. and there's every conceivable excuse take a drink i got a bad note so i take a drink i got a good note so I take a drink mm -hmm. as to a, one would if uh, if you didn't have uh, my particular self-control and of course mm -hmm. the enormous assistance of my wife yeah. Um, without uh, without Susan, I think, uh, uh, without any um, exagger exaggeration whatsoever, I, I might very easily be dead. I'm, I'm not joking, I mean that. Yeah. Mm. All I can say is to anybody in this country or in the world who has the same problem, you have my deepest sympathies and I hope you have a wife like mine as well. He died of alcoholism. He what died. A tortured him. man. That was so sad. He was not. I mean, the fact that he even said in there, if I'm not an alcoholic, I'm close. And yet, of course, he was a complete alcoholic, but still the denial. But look how. Earnest and. Thirsty he looks. Dehydrated, mm. almost hung over. I don't know whether he was it. Oh, my God, that's just so sad. I caught that on my YouTube um, account and I watched it. I started to watch it. We all think we know Richard Burton. We all do know Richard Burton. We all have the Richard Burton of the Elizabeth Taylor and the rouse and the being unreliable on set and all that kind of stuff. And then he literally, as I watched that, I couldn't not, I couldn't stop watching it. No. And then I was in tears. And then what really moved me, and that's the reason I wanted to show it to you, was his line about his wife, and I just wanted to say an enormous thank you. Because I couldn't do it without you. Oh, don't be silly. No, I couldn't. I absolutely couldn't, and I know what he means by that. Mm. Come here. I just wanted to say well done as well. 